Hello and welcome to Tuts Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two of the adjustment layers in Photoshop CC. One of them is called Color Lookup and the other one is called Photo Filter. The reason why I'm covering two adjustment layers in one video is because they are very similar in the way they work and the reason why to use them is also very similar. So let's start with Color Lookup. This adjustment layer was introduced in Photoshop CS6 and once you select it, you will have an option to choose from three different categories, 3D LUT file, abstract and device link. Now, before we start using it, let me just explain uh, where does this name come from, lookup table or LUT file. Well, historically, LUTs have been used primarily by the film industry as they are excellent way to apply color adjustments from one application to another application that may not share the same features or setup. So for instance, a film workflow may involve six different compositioning and rendering applications, uh, some with good color adjustments and some without. So if they create one 3D LUT that contains all of their adjustments, then they can use that LUT in all the applications to get the desired look. And now in Photoshop, we can actually use the same math and use the same files that may have been created in other applications and then apply it to your images directly inside Photoshop. The only thing we can't do at the moment is to create these files. So these are like presets that we can choose from. And once you click on any of these lists, you can see that you can actually load files as well. So if you have LUT files uh, created um, yourself and other applications, you can load them in. But let's just have a look at the ones that we already have in Photoshop. So first category, the 3D LUT files. If I choose any of these, we will see it will immediately affect our image. And basically that's all what we can do, choosing a template and then see how it looks. So what does this adjustment do really with our images? Basically, every color in the image will be remapped to a different one using this color lookup table that's saved into these presets. You can also think of this as some sort of meta adjustment or a way to apply pre-packed adjustments in one step. So once again, you can choose from this list or you can also choose from the abstract list. Once you select an option from there, let's just choose one of these, then once again, the colors will be remapped completely uh, based on what you choose from here. And then don't forget the last list as well, where again, we have a couple of other setups. Of course, you can always use a mask with these adjustment layers, and you can also experiment with using blend modes on these adjustment layers. And if you are interested about a list which shows you all the effects of these uh, color lookup adjustments, then you should check out the link which I provided in this uh, article for uh, Julian Cost's uh, file, it's a PSD file, which shows all these adjustments as a list. So you can see them side by side, and you can even replace the original file, which is a smart object. All you need to do is double click on that file and then replace the source of the smart object with your own photograph. And that way you can see exactly how all of these adjustments will look like. And quite similarly to the color lookup table, I would like to also show you another adjustment layer in Photoshop called Photo Filter. The reason why I have this also in this same tutorial is because it works quite similarly. Once again, this is the adjustment layer, photo filter. Once I apply it, we will be able to again choose from presets. So we have these standard filters that you can also use with your camera and put it on your lens, like a cooling filter or warming filter. And then you can use also different colored filters as well. And using these options will result in a different effect than what you would achieve with using blend modes and other adjustment layers. It's just another great way to save you time and get similar results to the effects if you would use these filters uh, on your camera. 
you can even choose underwater filter and then you can also change the density of these filters so that's also another cool thing and if you are not happy with the color you can always change the color itself so you can have a custom color as well assigned uh, to your photo filter and you can use this option the preserve luminosity to keep the original luminosity of the image or if you want to completely overwrite it with the color that you choose for the filter so all in all these two adjustment layers can help you to recolor or completely remap the colors of your images in a very simple and easy way by just simply selecting from presets I know most Photoshop users would use the hue saturation or uh, curves or maybe color balance to adjust the colors in an image but make sure you give the photo filter and color lookup table as well a try because they actually can create different effects to these other adjustment layers and that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial I hope you find these recommendations useful and you will give them a try and that you will also join me next time here on Tuts Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention.